Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to EFA Interviews. I got here Mr. Crawley for the first time ever, man. Ah, I'm getting first timers on my shows now, man. Forget the, about the ah. past. And forget about the past, bro. It's the future. The future starts now. Here, I'm going to ask Mr. Crawley. Mr. Crawley, how is your anarchy title defense going right now, brother? Going well, pretty good, man. Uh, you know, I've had a successful defense uh, this last pay-per-view. Whoa, 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 hold, 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 hold your horse over there, bro. Hold your horse, man. Calm down. Shh. Now, have you seen my show lately? I let Mr. Outlaw Saint take over from here, and I'll let him take over from here in three, two, one, go. What's up, Mr. Crowley? Hey, what's up? Why don't you let Saint? All right, man. Good to be talking to a real legend in here. My name though, because I, because because I read the because I read the fine print, you can cash you can cash that win on any title, and I told myself I wasn't going to be, and I wasn't going to be that good, anyways. So because I am your ACW Internet Heavyweight Champion of the World. Seven plus years, bro. Seven. Change the game. 
And I'm Mr. <laughs> and I'm Mr. Uh, and I'm Mr. You are guys are ignorant fucks, but I can't say it because I am that truthful. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid here. Yeah. yeah. Take your line, bro. Take your line. No, no. Like, uh, like this. Like. I see something that you posted that kind of had me a little worried, though. Oh, you thought I was retirement? Yeah. Uh, what was up with that? Family shit, man. Um, you know, uh, uh, I got you. Outside of the internet world, I do. I'm a dad. I have five kids. I work two jobs. Um, you know, I'm a busy guy. Um, and sometimes, if I can't put a hundred percent into whatever bet I'm in, I'll pull out because I don't want to be like some of these guys that will say, oh, "Give me a match, give me a match, give me a match," and just not show up. You know, I can't. Oh, you mean like all the ones that we just fired today in AC? Right. I can't do a half-ass bit. If I if I feel like I can't give a hundred percent into it, then I'm gonna have you take me out of the match because I'm not gonna waste. You know that opportunity for somebody else to you know that spot. So we're well, always going to get hit there. Speaking of half owner of ACW, if you ever have any kind of booking problems, just let us know and okay. we'll reschedule you. We're not going to strip you the time or anything like that because we understand okay. the real life situation too. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if you know this, and this is probably going to be breaking news right here, but one of your top rivals was released today from ACW. Oh, really, man? Who that was? Key Mobile. Well, oh, really? Yep, uh, she did not promo for the Extreme Bowl, and the rule was that if anybody did not show, they were gone. Well, she's got herself stretched out in the too many fans. Um, I mean, you know, you, ha- you really have to, you have to decide how many is enough, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm in, you know, ACW, I'm in BCW, I'm in GWF, I'm doing the MCW, and then Ripper is bringing back MWF, which is actually a pretty good one. Some, you know, a lot of the, I don't know, if you, I think you might have been, in, uh, you might have been by the same, but, um, um, yeah, I was made him champion there. <laughs> That's right. Um, and no, no, and, you know, Miss Mormon is very good. I mean, she's very good when she sits down and gets to business. Her and Lily Brooks and, Jamie LeBlanc, and, you know, and I've talked to Jamie some. Um, she's good. And a little long-winded, I think, with some of her promos. I mean, I think um, with some of these promos, now, like GBD, I like his detail, I like his descriptions, and I like set up. I think they're great. Um, but then there's some from some of these people that, if you lose me within the first, you know, <laughs> word, um, what's the gist of the promo? You know, I mean, I like to take that the road style and just shoot from the hip. Well, we were talking to a, a owner earlier named Todd Morris. He owns ECZ. Uh, we were discussing about the lack of creativity in promos nowadays from a lot of people. Oh, absolutely. Um, I believe in, in mixing it up. Um, I'm not all about written, and I'm not all about video. I like to, I like to you know, you know do a little bit of both, you know. I think any video that is that's over three minutes is too long. Um, oh, you mean that hot baby video that was over ten minutes on B? It wasn't terrible, though. I mean, heck, you know, it was your first one, so I mean, you know. I mean, not that long. You know, uh, you know, Scott Dollar. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, see, Scott Dollar used to be really, really good, but he's gotten so redundant in some of his videos because he basically repeats the same thing every time. Um, and I told him, I said, man, you got to mix it up, you got to change it up, you know, you got to get in character, you got to show, you know, pretend like you're, you know, in front of a live raw audience, you know, uh, just let it go, and that's, you know, that's kind of what I try to do. Yeah, he did a promo on me and EMCW where he called himself Dollar Man, and I told him I didn't know you could have value menus. <laughs> no, look, you got some great promos, man, you got some good material that you work with. Um, I, I yeah. appreciate that. Uh, well, I mean, and it's, it, you know, it's good that, you know, you, you know, everyone that you're active in, you effectively promo. So, I mean, that's, you know, on top of that, that's good. Well, I'll do that because, I don't know if you know, but back in the Mayhem days when I was Mayhem champion, I had some health issues, and I had to take two months off, and I got the stigma of being a no-show. Uh, so that came from Ripper and Beast. Uh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're back on track here, guys. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Hey. Here's the thing. I told you we should do a wrestling show, a wrestling podcast and trivia show. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. I'll keep it in mind, guys. I'll keep it in mind. I'll, I'll keep... I'll put an announcement out there soon enough. I'll, I'll put it out there, guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, um, well, Mr. Crowley, I've seen your promo work. You're good. Man. Yesterday was seven plus years. Yesterday was my seventh anniversary of uh, of doing this role playing uh, stuff. I and now I'm doing a one night only thing, bringing back an old character of mine known as Grant Van Dam. The whole fucking oh, yeah. the whole fucking show is here, yeah. and I want to do it in ACW one night only, and I want to see Mr. Crawley versus Grant Van Dam for the. Anarchy title just for one night only, bro. One night only. But if David, if David can approve that for me, bro, man, it'd be fucking great, bro. Sign it up. You know, I gotta talk with Rudy about that. Talk to Mr. Crowley ain't got a problem with defending against anybody. Grand Van Dam might have his, uh, have his final match, man. Man, man, I've been doing with that character for a long time, man. It was good. Uh, now, it's damn true. It's real damn true. Um, dude, I don't have any questions for you. I don't know. Dave, got any questions for you no more? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious who Crowley thinks should be the next contender for the Anarchy title. Huh. Well, I mean, you know, there's a lot of really good talent in there, you know. Um, gosh, you know, Cole Walker has, has come on pretty strong. Um, and yeah, another fast Cole's uh, work has gotten better, especially with his resin. Um, I'd probably throw him up there, you know. Because um, ultimately, you know, again, like I said, buys around the World Cup Championship that Dark Stranger has. As a matter of fact, he's just renting it until I take it from him, basically. Oh, that sounds like a challenge right there. We might have to, me and Rudy might have to go into the tank booth on that one. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Donnie could, he needs to get ready because that title is going to be taken off of pretty shortly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've got to make my way. I've got to move up. Whoa, wait up. A world title match here? How many times how many times did I have any world title matches? Forty seven How many world titles did I win? No, me. I have forty seven world titles. I have forty seven world titles won and now I'm trying to break it. I'm trying to break my mentor streak. It's t- wow. we're tied. We're tied. We're tied. It doesn't there's there's a margin though. He has a point th- he has a point three percent margin over me which means if i win a world title that means i'm ahead of him and that means the puzzle's complete aaron and that means he won't have to overlook me no more well crowd is looking to make not only wave in acw but at the same time he wants to start his own group in acw um a he's tag- looking for like-minded individuals a tag team you mean a tag team bro See, see, 
your guys' mindset is going after championships. Well, my mindset is conservative, and I want to earn it. See, you have to earn your way to the top, and that's what Aaron told me. You have to earn your way to the top and get yourself what you want. But there's going to be roadblocks, and roadblocks are known as storylines with people. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's known as out. it's known as E-Fed roadblocks. I've been in tons of E-Fed roadblocks, and I, and I never got my way. I never got my world title shots in the past. I'm trying to beat number 48. I'm trying to beat that, but it's very hard. And I'm, I, always, I'm always about a good storyline over personal gain. I love a good storyline. Personal gain is the best storyline. Yeah, personal gain is the best storyline. You know, I mean, I'm always about, you know, uh, because, again, I mentioned this to other guys, you know, us and Ethan, you know, he put up on the WWE creative team, and I guarantee you, we can put up better storylines than, you know, more on. Um, but, you know, I've been honored in ACW that every one of your matches so far, I've broken. Mm-hmm. He stepped on the. <laughs> he stepped on the. Okay, he stepped on the black mama. In the real world, the black. He he stepped on the black mama. The black mama got pissed, and the black mama is really fucking mad. He's calling up right now. He called up for six months. Now the attack had happened on DWE. We we we're fighting for the U.S. title, and I'm and I'm not trying to be biased here on my own show. Sure. But. It happened. It's going to happen. It's going to make sure it's going to happen real good. It's going to happen real when it really happens. Because when you see the action unfold, the black mom is going to strike. And once I left. Who's the BWE US champion? You are. Not me. Thank you. <laughs> remember, who, remember who trained me, too. So now you know why when I first came in and that first hour I was in the business, I went straight at you. He went after he went after a five plus year veteran, bro, and then and then I went okay, 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 relax. I'm doing. She's been training me. I mean, come on. She's the whole reason I'm even doing this. She brought me in. She brought me in from some stupid fantasy thing that I was writing promos for like Bray Wyatt and stuff. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 that's right. I can already see that. That's the same way. I can already see that me and you going to be back to heads eventually. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, character-wise. Uh, uh, because Crowley is all about ego. He's all about being the best and being ahead of everybody and outthinking everybody. That's just his, that's his, you know. Do you know this is the first time I've met you in an E-Fed? I think. Because you know what? I, I, I called you, you, you Mr. Crowley. Yeah, I do. I sure do. And it was me, you, and Crucifier. Yeah, a crucifer or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, oh, my God. You know, he's a really nice guy. I talked to him on the phone. But holy crap. <laughs> I, I told him, man, when he does a bit, to, you know, back it up a little bit, though, just give me your mustache and your mouth in a video. Um, I talked to him in one of his videos. I 
was one time I was going to slap that caterpillar off his face. I thought he looked like a pedophile. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, now with this now coming to now coming to the closing here, I'm gonna talk now. You guys, in, this, this, this area, here. in life, in life, you make your own demises. You make your choices. You make good choices. You make bad choices. For which it stands. For the United States of America, to the public, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, because each fed will stand as a, as a, as a top network of superpowers, and we have justice for all. America can stand with you. And with this, this has been another installment of EFET interviews with the Saint and GVD with Mr. Crowley. Thank you very much, America, and thank you very much to the global watchers because we're ready for you. Bring us your toughest competition, then we'll talk later. Bye-bye.